final piece of our mechanisms here is transform boundaries. So we've talked about where plates might be pulling apart and making divergent boundaries. Then we talked about where they're shoving together and making convergent boundaries. The other option is for them not to be doing either of those options and to essentially be sliding past each other. That is the idea going on when we have a transform boundary. Again, we'll look at the interaction of the Pacific plate. For divergent, we looked at it pulling away from the Nazca plate. For convergent, we looked at this area, and I simplified it to the Eurasian plate where it's slamming into those and subducting. Then we also talked about the Himalaya collision between the Eurasian plate and the Indian Ocean. We talked some about the divergent here and across the ridge. So in this case, we're going to talk about the Pacific plate and its relative motion compared to the North American plate. So the Pacific plate, again, is sliding northwest relative to, and I've simplified this a lot because the North American plate isn't actually going to be going southeast, but we're going to talk about it as if it is because relative to the Pacific plate is sliding southeast. So a simplification here, but we're going to talk about the relative motion of these two plates being transformed, where the Pacific plate is sliding this way and the North American plate is sliding that way. So you may have heard of the San Andreas Fault out in California, which is the really active one that most of the earthquakes that we hear about on the news here occur on that San Andreas Fault. And it is a transform type fault boundary. So it's that Pacific plate moving northwest relative to the North American plate. So, and if you've ever heard the idea that California would fault off and fall into the Pacific Ocean. You can see here how that doesn't work that way. It's it's moving, but it's not moving out into the ocean. It's actually sliding up this way. The next couple of slides we're going to look at detail on how, what that sliding has done. But you can probably already see with this whole California Valley here that there is a a surface structure related to the San Andreas Fault here. And here's a zoomed in version of that. You get the more complex topography going on back here with the Rockies and the basin after the Rockies. Um, you get this is another fault zone up in here with some stuff going on. But that's your San Andreas right there, the red line. And you have that Pacific plate moving northwest relative to the North American. And you get this big valley structure here, and we're going to zoom in on, let me highlight it here, we're going to zoom in on the San Francisco Bay right here. And it's an example, but you could extend what I'm about to talk about with San Francisco Bay to this whole valley back here behind the shadow of that so that you can see how that, what California is doing. And when I say California here, we should include um, down. Oh, that didn't mark on that. Oh, this black highlighter doesn't write on black. That makes sense. And neither does blue, and that doesn't make as much sense. So this area down here, Baja California, is included. It's part of that, and it's currently sliding up the same way as the rest of California, and it'll be moving past this part of California in some distant part of the future. And we, here we have that very zoomed in version. So this is my plate out here, and it's moving that direction. And then this back here, let's just group all of this together and say that that's that whole plate moving that direction relative wise. Okay, so as it does that, as this block out here, as this slides up that direction, it's 
passing the other. And behind it, you get this basically void area dropping down, basin, and it can fill with water. And in this case, you have this huge San Francisco Bay developing because of this transform fault creating a void space. A lot of this material here is sediment fill in a relic of that bay system. Uh, these different colors on this map, by the way, are different geologic units. And, uh, and you can see we have uh, the research gate thing again here, and you can follow up. It's a pretty deep paper, but um, tells you a lot about the different geologic units and what's exposed here in San Francisco. So this is uh, basically the idea of the transform fault. And this movement along the fault as opposed to away from it or toward it. That's the kind that you have at San Andreas.